orange chicken is, I think my soulmate. When did I become such a blackie? Rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. You are a disrespectful piece Hey girls, welcome to another Amber Lynn video. This one will be covering a few of Amber's videos and hopefully I'll finally be caught up enough on her uploads to be able to make videos covering only one video at a time again. If you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you. Also, there is a Discord server for this channel linked in the description and pinned comment if you'd like to come chat or hang out. Feel free to leave a comment with your thoughts or feedback below. I respond to all of you and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and let's get into the video. Guys, it is the next day. I'm not feeling the greatest. We have a little bit of a hangover. I just feel sluggish, nauseous, just not good. I seriously think she is in the beginning stages of becoming an alcoholic, if not further along than that. For her sake, I really hope not, but that's kind of how it's looking right now. I'm actually about to go out with my mom, but I do want to weigh myself real quick. I weighed myself on Monday. I was like 5... 15, 5, 16. Today's actually Saturday and I have been actively eating less and trying to make better choices. I've been trying to move a little bit more. So I do feel that I am on a good track. I do feel like I had to have lost at least a couple pounds. Hello, it's ready. 509.0 pounds. 500 and who? Let's step on it again. 508.4 pounds. So I'm down seven pounds in almost a week. That's exciting. Good job, even though this is the 10th time she's reached this point, and she gains it back every time. When she gets below 480, I'll be impressed. Got some fried rice, shrimp, and beef and broccoli. So I'm finished eating. My fortune says, seek guidance where you can this week. Okay, Panda Express. Straight into food. Also, we know damn well she isn't about to seek guidance. She won't listen to anyone, including doctors and therapists. She goes shopping with Mama Lynn. Okay, so we got Starbucks and um, I got a iced coffee with caramel and I'm afraid I'm not gonna like it. My mom got this like peppermint moment. Well, there's no peppermint on there. She's like, did you not go to Starbucks often? She, she told the guy, where's the peppermint? It's literally in it. Oh my God. So we're gonna do a taste test. Sorry, I am at Wait, it's actually good. I was scared. My mom was thinking I wasn't gonna like it. Yeah, I needed some coffee to pet my step a little bit. She needed some coffee to spike her anxiety a little bit. Mama Lynn brings her back home. Hello, next day. My hair, we have questions. I know we do. This is called, I don't care. So I'm wearing my hair up there. I've just been wearing my hair down a lot lately and I'm kind of over it. Do we have questions? Do we really? The poop bun is back. Not very surprising. People always ask about this choker. It's not a this choker. I have so many more than just this one. I don't know how I have any business having like literally 10 of the same choker, but I do. Sure she does. I'd like to refer back to the bra. I don't know if this is self-destructive or if it's helping me, but it makes sense in my brain. I've been listening to songs that me and my ex would listen to, songs that were like special to us. I'm listening to those songs so I can like get immune to them. Like a month ago, I wouldn't be able to listen to these songs and now I'm listening to them and I'm being okay because this is music that I enjoy. I don't want to like lose these songs because I enjoy them as a whole. So it's like, I have to like become like immune to like the memories, the feelings, the emotions that come up with the songs. So I'm like forcing myself to listen to them. I've been doing it for like a week now and I'm actually doing it a lot better. I don't even know what to say about this anymore. She needs to let it go and stop talking about wifey publicly. It just feels like she's almost obsessed at this point and it's weird. So change of subject, someone very special to me. We decided that we were going to do matching keychains, which is such a cute idea. So we got a matching Lego keychain and I let her decide what the actual like keychain is. It's probably a best friend or something, but we know that Amber has probably already fallen for her and is actively finding a way to start dating her, move her in, torment her for a couple years, and get left by her once she realizes what Amber has been doing to her the whole time. Oh wow, this is adorable. So I'm not really a hot dog girly, but I'm willing to have this hot dog on my keychains for her. Look how adorable he is. He is just so happy. So now every time I grab my keys, I'm gonna think of her and I think that's so cute. Like what? You can't tell me she isn't falling for whoever this girl is. Come on. 
So I'm actually gonna be cooking for my mom for the very first time in my whole entire life. My mom has never had my cooking and I wanna make her and her boyfriend my chili. Let's take a moment of silence to pray for them. So I have a little store list started so I don't forget any ingredients because I tend to do that. Hello, so I just got back from the grocery store. So we're gonna do a haulage. Groceries are here. So before anyone says anything, I am wearing the Gucci necklace, okay? Nobody gives a fuck. Boring haul. So this is probably gonna gross everyone out, which I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I made some chicken salad. It's just pretty simple chicken salad, but I will say it's delicious. And I usually like to dip like crackers in there, but I was like, okay, what's something I could do that would just be a little better for me, but isn't like a celery stick or, I mean, you could do like carrots and stuff. No, she's not. Have I officially lost it? And did she seriously just say that she's eating whole cheese sticks in place of crackers to be healthier? Where is the logic in that? Do I really have to watch what happens next? I've been loving cheese sticks lately. So I was like, why not do a cheese stick? You guys, it's honestly so good. Oh yeah, that slaps. No, just no. I don't even know if it's that bad. I just hate it with my entire being. Call me dramatic, but... She shows us her Legos. It's actually kind of cool. I'm just surprised her brain actually works enough to figure it all out. She wakes up and rambles about her somehow still living plant. I actually named my plant Slytherin, random fact. And the same person who got me this plant also got me this lamp that I also named Luna. Of course she did. I didn't know there was a white girl out there more basic than me until I discovered Amberlynn Reed. Next video. She makes a charcuterie board with a bunch of stuff. While I eat, I'm actually going to be watching the new uh, Squid Games, The Challenge. Didn't that show suck? Or is it actively sucking? Let's taste test a garlic chip. Like, what is that? Okay. Texture is crunchy. Flavor is garlicky. Garlic chip? She's good. I don't know what she expected. This is boring. She eats some food. Cheers. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10 recommend. She recommends anything she eats. She could eat part of a tire off the road and do her mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and would recommend it. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but the sky is literally doing something for me. Look how cool it looks. I don't know. I just had to share the beauty of Mother Nature. Mother Nature. Girl, you're in a fucking parking lot looking at the sky through a camera. She talks about how it's storming and shows us her tumblers. Look at those carbs. Look at the sugars. Look at the calories. The one I usually drink has zero all of that. And it's crazy, but I prefer the zero. Like this one, it tastes great. Like I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm definitely going to drink them. But the other one tastes so much better. Oh yeah, sure. Just like how salad is delicious to you and you were going to go vegan for life because you hate animal cruelty and then went back to eating meat a week later. Oh, and let's not forget the big one. You were going to lose weight. She talks about how she's going to make chili for her mom and her mom's boyfriend. I know there's like jokes, there's memes, whatever it may be, where people talk about my chili online, but everyone in my real life who has ever tried it thinks it's the best. Like one of my exes, the pickiest ever, and she said that's the best chili she's ever had. So literally anyone who's ever tried it loves it. I don't know why she exaggerates her stuff to sound so much better than it probably was. She sounded like this when she was talking about how she used to win dancing competitions with her choreography, and then the studio she said she was working with came out and said that she never participated with their studio. I love it. Like, I do know how to cook. I have made some very questionable choices in the past with soups, especially when I was dating Destiny. Um, very questionable. They always tasted good. Um, I would never make a soup like that now. I just want to make that very clear. Interesting how she'll say Destiny's name but won't mention her other ex's name. I also highly doubt all of her soups were good. So my chili is almost done. It's been simmering for about 20 minutes now. So I'd say it probably has about 10 more. Mama Lynn definitely had a hand in that chili. Okay, so my mom and her boyfriend have been gone for some hours. I didn't vlog because I'll vlog in front of my mom, but I get a little shy to vlog in front of her boyfriend. Like, me and him get along really good. I really like him, but, like, I get nervous vlogging in front of certain people. It's kind of like how some of her exes and friends were really shy to be on camera, and she shoved the camera in their faces anyways. She's such a hypocrite with no respect for people's boundaries. But I was shocked. They loved my chili. They both got up to get a second bowl and I was like, okay, I did that. Normally I make my chilies more like a chili soup because I really love broth, but I wanted to make it more thick this time. Correction, 
Mama Lin wanted to make it more thick this time. That's the only reason anyone was going back for seconds. Oh god, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's just Amber. Is she trying to do all these opening door shots to become a meme or something? Or is she just trying to be quirky? Hello? <laughs> hey. I'm actually about to just have some of these hot tamales. Tells us a story about how her dad had a business and she used to eat candies from there. Hello! So, oh my god, I just stood outside for an hour. I was waiting for the Uber because I got some Taco Bell. It's a moment. It's fine, I promise. And I met a guy and I shaved his hand and it has to be the softest hand I've ever felt. Um, okay. That's not weird or creepy at all. And I don't even feel like correcting her grammar anymore. Also, wow, Taco Bell. She's so on track, guys. We're gonna do a Taco Bell haul? Showing us five things you ordered from a restaurant is not a haul. So I was massively craving. They're just like chips and nachos. So you just get those little chips and nachos. <laughs> okay, chips and cheese. And yes, um, it's actually 2 a.m. right now. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so the binge monster is back aka Amber having no willpower or self-control to better her life so she can still be around in her 40s. And I got two of these tacos because they're making me feel it. You guys have seen me like do a mukbang of this. That's bomb. I don't know. Hi. I'm not doing vlogmas this year. It's been weird for me. Everyone just uploaded their first vlogmas video and I'm like, oh, that was once gonna be me. That once was me. And instead, I am eating Taco Bell in my bed. She's gonna be smug and happy about it until it lands her in the hospital. She has no shame in this moment whatsoever. All that matters is the food she's stuffing into her face. It's just really sad and pathetic. I know we find it entertaining to watch her cycle and be in denial, but moments like these are hard to watch sometimes. We're watching an addict being fully under the control of their addiction and just not caring. She can tell us she cares, but just look at her. Does it look like she cares right now? Hello. So it's been like 10 minutes. These chips are the grossest things I've ever tasted. I was looking forward to this more than anything else. They taste like poisoned, bitter oil chips. Disgusting. Good. At least that takes something off her plate. Okay, so we're always in this dang fridge, aren't we? Yes, I have a few buzz balls. Don't come for me. Since most of my meal sucked, I have a few pieces of salami. Okay, so I was too hopeful. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. So, huh. Salami's so good. Like, I've realized everything about salami is the very thing that I hate in life. Cold, gross, red looking meat that is just everything I hate. Really, really, truly. Like, ew. But I grew up on it. That sums Amber up pretty well. She grew up eating everything she could get her hands on, and she still hasn't changed. Amber is just digging herself into a deeper and deeper hole, and it's just hard to watch at this point. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you. Also, don't forget there is a Discord server for this channel linked in the description and pinned comment if you'd like to come chat or hang out. Feel free to comment your thoughts and feedback below. I respond to all of you. I hope you have a great day. Bye!